You're Norma Desmond. Used to be in silent pictures. Used to be big. I am big. It's the pictures that got small. Uh -huh. I knew there was something wrong. They're dead. They're finished. There was a time in this business when they had the eyes of the whole wide world. But that wasn't good enough for them. Oh, no. They had to have the ears of the world, too. So they opened their big mouths, and out came talk. Talk, talk. That's where the popcorn business comes in. You buy yourself a bag and plug up your ears. Still wonderful, isn't it? And no dialogue. We didn't need dialogue. We had faces. There just aren't any faces like that anymore. Maybe one, Garbo. Those idiot producers. Those imbeciles. Haven't they got any eyes? Have they forgotten what a star looks like? I'll show them. I'll be up there again, so help me. Let's get a good look at you. There's Norma Desmond. Norma Desmond. Norma Desmond. Why, I thought she was dead. How oh, nice to see you. Welcome home, Mr. Oh. You remember me, don't oh, you? Desmond. You didn't believe me. Now I suppose you don't think I have the courage. Oh, sure, if it would make a good scene. You don't care, do you? But hundreds of thousands of people will care. Oh, wake up, Norma. You'd be killing yourself to an empty house. The audience left 20 years ago. Now face it. That's a lie. They still want me. No, they don't. What about the studio? What about DeMille? He was trying to spare your feelings. The studio only wanted to rent your car. Wanted what? DeMille didn't have the heart to tell you. None of us has had the heart. That's a lie. They want me. I get letters every day. You tell her, Max. Come on, do her that favor. Tell her there isn't going to be any picture. There aren't any fan letters except the ones you write. That isn't true. Max! Madame is the greatest star of them all.